Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has signed new legislation aiming to stop illegal immigration after 25 Haitians were found on a boat along with night vision equipment, drugs, and guns near Sebastian, Florida. And here's your latest news. Let's get right down to it. The new illegal immigration bill prohibits institutions from issuing identification cards or other documents to individuals who are not legally residing in the United States. Furthermore, there are stricter penalties for driving in Florida without a valid license, leading to jail time of 10 days for a third offense. Santos has issued a warning that legal measures will be taken against those entering the state illegally and committing crimes. He has announced the deployment of more than 250 additional officers and soldiers to safeguard the Florida border aiming to prevent the illegal entry of migrants from Haiti, a country currently experiencing severe violence and instability due to political unrest. The 25 Haitians that were found near the Sebastian Inlet were handed over to the Coast Guard and then deported. In other news, local food pantries are urgently seeking food, health, and hygiene supplies. These pantries are experiencing a critical shortage of supplies due to growing challenges for those in need. The Roseland and Felsmere pantries are looking for things like canned goods, cooking oil, jarred goods such as peanut butter and jelly, cereal, dehydrated milk, pet food, and more. The Roseland Pantry, located at 12962 Roseland Road, is open on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Additionally, Remax Crown Realty is collecting donations for the Felsmere Food Pantry at its Sebastian office on U.S. Highway 1. To learn more, please contact Erica Ogilvie at 772-633-633. 4779. And St. Patrick's Day was last weekend with festivities throughout Sebastian, Captain Hires Resort, Nash Monkeys Brewing Company, and the Paradoya Brewing Company hosted celebrations. Paradoya served traditional Irish dish as well as a live band performance. They also transformed one of their signature craft beers into a festive green beer for the occasion. And now for your Sebastian weather, it's currently 76 degrees and the rain chance is increasing for Friday. The forecast calls for a high of 78 on Thursday, followed by a slight decrease to 75 degrees on Friday. Temperatures will rise again to 81 on Saturday before dropping to 73 for Sunday and Monday. By Tuesday, the warmer temperatures will return to 81. There is an 80% chance of rain for Friday and Saturday. Additionally, the wind gusts are going to be 25 to 30 miles per hour all through the weekend. Here's your fishing report. The recent cold fronts have led to a slow snook fishing season at the Sebastian Inlet. However, the water temperatures are rising from 71 to 73 degrees. There's optimism for more snook in the coming weeks. The early appearance of finger mullet at the North Jetty is a promising sign. For boaters, seas are three to four feet, but increasing to six to eight feet on Sunday. And now here's a look at some of the events going on this weekend. On Friday from 5.30 to 8 p.m., there's a concert in the park featuring Dave Scott and the Reckless Shots. Since there's a growing rain chance, it's weather permitting. On Saturday, it's Mash Monkey's sixth year anniversary and the celebration is from 1 to 4 p.m. Congratulations, Mash Monkeys Brewing Company. The big live event is on Sunday starting at 2 p.m. when Ray Fuller and the Blues Rockers will take the stage at Earl's Hideaway Lounge. For a complete list of things to do around Sebastian, just visit us, SebastianDaily.com, and click on the calendar button at the top. Coming up next, another great video about Sebastian, Florida. I'm Andy Hodges for Sebastian Daily.